Hair Removal, Wikipedia Audio Hair removal, also known as epilation or depilation, is the deliberate removal of body hair. Hair typically grows all over the human body. Hair can become more visible during and after puberty and men tend to have thicker, more visible body hair than women. Both men and women have visible hair on the head, eyebrows, eyelashes, armpits, pubic region, arms, and legs. Men and some women also have thicker hair on their face, abdomen, back and chest. Hair does not generally grow on the lips, the underside of the hands or feet or on certain areas of the genitalia. Forms of hair removal are practiced for various and mostly cultural, sexual, medical, or religious reasons. Forms of hair removal have been practiced in almost all human cultures since at least the Neolithic era. The methods used to remove hair have varied in different times and regions, but shaving is the most common method. History in early history hair was removed for cleanliness and fashion reasons. If the hair was cut and shaven it meant one was high class. In ancient Egypt, hair removal was not just a fashion statement, it also served as a treatment for Laos infestation, which was a prevalent issue in the region. Commonly, they would replace the removed hair with wigs which were seen as easier to maintain and also fashionable. They would remove their hair using two methods, waxing and shaving. If they chose to wax they would use caramelized sugar, and if they wanted to shave, they would use an early form of the straight razor. As time went on new techniques were found to remove hair such as laser hair removal. Shaving or trimming depilatories, friction. Each culture of human society has developed social norms relating to the presence or absence of body hair, which has changed from one time to another. Different standards can apply to females and males. People whose hair falls outside a culture's aesthetic standards may experience real or perceived social acceptance problems. For example, for women in several societies, exposure in public of body hair other than head hair, eyelashes, and eyebrows is generally considered to be unesthetic, unattractive and embarrassing. In Middle Eastern societies, removal of the female body hair has been considered proper hygiene, necessitated by local customs, for many centuries. With the increased popularity in many countries of women wearing shorter dresses and swimsuits during the 20th century and the consequential exposure of parts of the body on which hair is commonly found, there has been an increase in the practice of women removing unwanted body hair, such as on legs, underarms and elsewhere. In the United States, for example, the vast majority of women regularly shave their legs and armpits, while roughly half also shave their bikini lines. Many men in Western cultures shave their facial hair, so only a minority of men have a beard, even though fast-growing facial hair must be shaved daily to achieve a clean-shaven or hairless look. Some men shave because they cannot grow a full beard because their beard color is different from their scalp hair color, or because their facial hair grows in many directions, making a groomed look difficult. Some men shave because their beards are very coarse, causing itchiness and irritation. Some men grow a beard or mustache from time to time to change their appearance. Some men shave their heads, either as a fashion statement, because they find a shaved head preferable to the appearance of male pattern baldness, or in order to attain enhanced cooling of the skull particularly for people suffering from hyperhidrosis. A much smaller number of Western women also shave their heads, often as a fashion or political statement. 
Some women also shave their heads for cultural or social reasons. In India, tradition required widows in some sections of the society to shave their heads as part of being ostracized. The outlawed custom is still infrequently encountered mostly in rural areas. The society at large and the government are working to end the practice of ostracizing widows. In addition, it continues to be common practice for men to shave their heads prior to embarking on a pilgrimage. Tweezing, waxing, sugaring, play media, threading in Wenchang, Hainan, China, threading in which a twisted thread catches hairs as it is rolled across the skin, epilators. People may also remove some or all of their pubic hair for aesthetic or sexual reasons. This custom can be motivated by reasons of potentially increased cleanliness and hygiene, heightened enjoyment during sexual activity, and slash or the desire to take on a more youthful appearance. Though traditionally in Western culture women remove body hair and men do not, some women choose not to remove hair from their bodies, either as a preference or as an act of defiance against what they regard to be an oppressive ritual, while some men remove or trim their body hair, a practice that is referred to as being a part of manscaping. Drugs that directly attack hair growth or inhibit the development of new hair cells. Hair growth will become less and less until it finally stops. Normal depilation slash epilation will be performed until that time. Hair growth will return to normal if use of product is discontinued. Products include the following, the pharmaceutical drug Vanica, with the active ingredient eflornithine hydrochloride, inhibits the enzyme ornithine decarboxylase, preventing new hair cells from producing putrescine for stabilizing their DNA. Antiandrogens, including spironolactone, cyproterone acetate, flutamide, bicalutamide, and finasteride, can be used to reduce or eliminate unwanted body hair, such as in the treatment of hirsutism. Although effective for reducing body hair, antiandrogens have little effect on facial hair. However, slight effectiveness may be observed such as some reduction in density slash coverage and slower growth. Antiandrogens will also prevent further development of facial hair, despite only minimally affecting that which is already there. With the exception of 5-alpha reductase inhibitors such as finasteride and dudasteride, antiandrogens are contraindicated in men due to the risk of feminizing side effects such as gynecomastia as well as other adverse reactions, and are generally only used in women for cosmetic slash hair reduction purposes. Cultural and Sexual Aspects Head shaving is a part of some Buddhist, Christian, Muslim, Jain, and Hindu traditions. Buddhist and Christian monks generally undergo some form of head shaving or tonsure during their induction into monastic life, in Thailand monks shave their eyebrows as well. Brahmin children have their heads ritualistically shaved before beginning school. The Amish religion forbids men from having mustaches, as they are associated with the military. In some parts of the Theravada Buddhist world, it is common practice to shave the heads of children. Weak or sickly children are often left with a small top knot of hair, to gauge their health and mark them for special treatment. When health improves, the lock is cut off. In Judaism, there is no obligation to remove hair, nor is there a general prohibition to removing hair. However, there is a prohibition for men using a razor to shave their beards or sideburns, and, by custom, neither men nor women may cut their hair or shave during a 30-day mourning period after the death of an immediate family member. The Baha'i Faith recommends against complete and long-term head shaving outside of medical purposes. It is not currently practiced as a law. 
contingent upon future decision by the Universal House of Justice, its highest governing body. Sikhs take an even stronger stance, opposing all forms of hair removal. One of the five ks of Sikhism is Kesh, meaning hair. To Sikhs, the maintenance and management of long hair is a manifestation of one's piety. Under Muslim law, it is recommended to keep, and that which is the object of recommendation. A Muslim may trim or cut hair on head. The hairs on the chest and the back may be removed. In the 9th century, the use of chemical depilatories for women was introduced by Zirya bin al-Andalus. Muslims are legislated by the Sunnah to remove underarm hair and pubic hair on a weekly basis, not doing after a 40-day period is considered sinful in the Sharia. Ancient Egyptian priests also shaved or depilated all over daily, so as to present a pure body before the images of the gods. The body hair of surgical patients may be removed before surgery. In the past this may have been achieved by shaving, but that is now considered counterproductive, so clippers or chemical depilatories may be used instead. The shaving of hair has sometimes been used in attempts to eradicate lice or to minimize body odor due to accumulation of odor causing microorganisms in hair. Some people with trichiasis find it medically necessary to remove ingrown eyelashes. Shaving against the grain can often cause ingrown hairs. Other Reasons Religious Reasons Many forms of cancer require chemotherapy, which often causes severe and irregular hair loss. For this reason, it is common for cancer patients to shave their heads even before starting chemotherapy. Electric Tweezers Transdermal electrolysis, transcutaneous hair removal, photoepilators, microwave hair removal, foods and dietary supplements, non-prescription topical preparations. Medical Reasons In the military In sport As punishment Forms of hair removal in extreme situations people may need to remove all body hair to prevent or combat infestation by lice, fleas, and other parasites. Such a practice was used, for example, in ancient Egypt. Aldrabi MS, Toma DJ, Khashi Mount A. Hair removal with the 3 millisecond Alexandrite laser in patients with skin types 4-6, efficacy, safety, and the role of topical corticosteroids in preventing side effects. Journal of Drugs in Dermatology 6, 66 PMID 17373163, Alexiades Armenicas M. Laser Hair Removal Journal of Drugs in Dermatology 5, 6789 PMID 16865877, Aramia S., Li Sai, Umar S.H., Newman N. Laser Hair Removal, Long-Term Results with a 755 nm Alexandrite Laser. Dermatologic Surgery. 27, 924. DOI. 10.1046/j.1524-4725.2003.1 PMID 11737124 PMID 11737124 Hersig, Rebecca M. Plucked, A History of Hair Removal. New York, New York University Press, 2015, McDaniel DH Lord J., Ash K., Newman J., Zukowski M. Laser Hair Removal, A Review and Report on the Use of the Long-Pulsed Alexandrite Laser for Hair Reduction of the Upper Lip, Leg, Back, and Bikini Region. Dermatologic Surgery
25, 4 25 30. Doi. 10.1046 J.1524 47.25.1999.08118.x. PMID 10469087, Wanner M. Laser Hair Removal. Dermatologic Therapy. 18, 20916. DOI. 10.1111 slash j.1529-8019.2005.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0
alleged witches were stripped naked and their entire body shaved to discover the so-called witches' marks. The discovery of witches' marks was then used as evidence in trials. Head shaving during present times is also used as a form of payment for challenges or dares lost involving the removal of all body hair. Permanent Hair Removal Inmates have their head shaved upon entry at certain prisons. Depilation is the removal of the part of the hair above the surface of the skin. The most common form of depilation is shaving or trimming. Another option is the use of chemical depilatories, which work by breaking the disulfide bonds that link the protein chains that give hair its strength. Permanent Hair Reduction Epilation is the removal of the entire hair, including the part below the skin. Methods include waxing, sugaring, epilation devices, lasers, threading, intense pulsed light or electrology. Hair is also sometimes removed by plucking with tweezers. Many products in the market have proven fraudulent. Many other products exaggerate the results or ease of use. Clinical Comparisons of Effectiveness Experimental or Banned Methods Doubtful Methods Temporary removal of hair to the level of the skin lasts several hours to several days and can be achieved by Epilation, or removal of the entire hair from the root, lasts several days to several weeks and may be achieved by For over 130 years, electrology has been in use in the United States. It is approved by the FDA. This technique permanently destroys germ cells responsible for hair growth by way of insertion of a fine probe in the hair follicle and the application of a current adjusted to each hair type and treatment area. Electrology is the only permanent hair removal method recognized by the FDA. A 2006 review article in the journal Lasers in Medical Science compared intense pulsed light and both alexandrite and diode lasers. The review found no statistical difference in effectiveness, but a higher incidence of side effects with diode laser-based treatment. Hair reduction after six months was reported as 68.75% for alexandrite lasers. 71.71% for diode lasers, and 66.96% for IPL. Side effects were reported as 9.5% for alexandrite lasers, 28.9% for diode lasers, and 15.3% for IPL. All side effects were found to be temporary and even pigmentation changes returned to normal within six months. Many methods have been proposed or sold over the years without published clinical proof they can work as claimed. There are several disadvantages to many of these hair removal methods. Hair removal can cause some issues, skin inflammation, minor burns, lesions, scarring, ingrown hairs, bumps, and infected hair follicles. Some removal methods are not permanent, can cause medical problems and permanent damage, or have very high costs. Some of these methods are still in the testing phase and have not been clinically proven. One issue that can be considered an advantage or a disadvantage depending upon an individual's viewpoint, is that removing hair has the effect of removing information about the individual's hair growth patterns due to genetic predisposition, illness, androgen levels, and slash or gender status. In the hair follicle, stem cells reside in a discrete microenvironment called the bulge, located at the base of the part of the follicle that is established during morphogenesis but does not degenerate during the hair cycle. The bulge contains multipotent stem cells that can be recruited during wound healing to help the repair of the epidermis. Notes Further reading 
Advantages and Disadvantages